I'm Christy Miller. I'm a certified nurse midwife and I'm on the Childbirth Graphics Advisory Board. I'm going to teach a nurse midwife student how to use this model for doing Leopold's maneuvers. Uh, when you're doing Leopold's, you should always turn towards the patient's head and uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is feel what is in the fundus of the uterus. So uh, reach up here to the fundus and just feel around a little bit and then what you're going to do is get your fingers and your thumb on either side of the presenting of the part that's in the fundus and jostle it back and forth a little bit. It, does it feel large? Does it feel movable? Does it feel soft or very, very hard? What you're going to do next is, again, keeping yourself oriented towards the patient's face, you're going to compare the two sides. Um, put pressure with your hand along this side and then pressure with your hand along this side. The side that has the backbone of the baby will be the one that feels more firm. Often, the opposite side is where you can feel a little foot moving or a thigh or sometimes even hands. So figure out which side you think the backbone is on and then you follow down to the, to the presenting part. The way you feel the presenting part is you find the symphysis pubis and then up, right above it, again, you take your fingers and your thumb and you try to jostle that part. Usually the head is right there and you can usually jostle it between your finger and your thumb. The head, even though it is the biggest part of the baby, often feels smaller and harder than this part up here. And that's because the bottom and the thighs feel bigger um, as the baby's bottom and thighs are bent. Whereas the head is easier to get a hold of and feels smaller but firmer. You can usually jostle that hard little sphere between your fingers and know that that's the head. Once in a while, it, the head will be deeply engaged in the pelvis, in which case, at this point, you would turn slightly away and you would compare that presenting part from one side to the other. Again, sometimes you can feel what's the occiput side of the baby's head and what's the face side. Here's the inside version of what we've just demonstrated. Uh, you have the model of the fetus, you have the pelvis, and um, you place the baby in the position that you want to teach at that particular time. Um, after you've placed the baby in the position that you want, you take the amniotic fluid and place it over the baby. <coughs> then you take the adipose tissue and place that over the entire model in order to give a much more realistic feel to the model. Then you place the skin and adjust it. Make sure that you have the parts that you want to demonstrate easily palpable so that the student can understand what you're talking about and then you're ready to go.